All right, so it's time to figure out the exterior, how to improve upon this because it looks absolutely horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible. Um, the clear coat is all buckled and coming up. Um, decals are completely torn and broken. So I have a game plan. Let's see. I have different stages mapped out here. So this is kind of the original um, decal left over, which is crumbling apart and then all this yucky crud. Focus, please. Whoa, okay. And then I scrape it off. So this is actually with it scraped off, but there's a lot of adhesive still on there, which is, uh, I need to figure out how to do that. And I'm scraping it with this. Now I'm using Goof Off to get the adhesive off, but then I get this huge, sticky, messy, it is becomes this goo that gets everywhere and it's horrible. Um, so this is where I've done it well. And then this is where it's really hard to do. Uh, but I'm working on that. And then there's this. So this, I can actually get that to look like that. And then after I get it to that stage, then we'll get it waxed and then polished, waxed, uh, deoxidized, polished and waxed. And then it should look like this compared to, okay, so here is still oxidized and not, not waxed here is deoxidized and waxed so it's kind of hard kind of hard to see but it sh there's a shine in this one there's a one rectangular section here where there's a shine <laughs> there can you see like oh yeah you can see like that so this is original and this is afterwards so the goal is to get it as close to this everywhere as possible um and that is going to take a lot of work so remember the leprechaun you can still see so now i have a yellowish tinge with oxidization is and nice and shiny <laughs> leprechaun by coachman i <laughs> can't see that it's all nice and shiny where the lettering used to be but um if we do an overall general Hey, that's actually kind of cool, isn't it? Um, it's not going to show like that once we get all the wax and all that because then everything will have, it'll bring it closer to this original shine and then um, it'll be fine. But right now that actually looks pretty cool, just having that, that white shine lettering. But um, okay, so I can get it that clean and I just need to do more of it. Like this spot is giving me issues because for some reason my blade isn't going under that spot anymore so here is where it got under and I was able to remove all nice and then uh, I don't know but then I was thinking I have another option so one of the pro oh I also did this stripe right over here and this so then you might be thinking like why are you just jumping around <laughs> random places well that's how my brain works I like look over here I was like okay I'm gonna do this and this and it's like oh, okay I'm gonna do this and then this and anyways um so I think I was thinking, you know what? This is a lot of work. And what am I going to do with something like this? Because this whole section actually still looks good, right? Then it kind of deteriorates over here. And really, the, the really bad spot is, is this. And this is like the... Ah, mosquito. Um, the, ah, ah, mosquito. Uh, um, it's just... Focus. It's, um, it's the adhesive where the decal pulled off and then all the dirt stuck onto it. So um, if it wasn't like that dirty, then it wouldn't actually look that bad. So then I was like, what about if I do this? So this is where, you know, um, there's something called vinyl weeding. I don't know what that is, but I think that's where you take vinyl and then you use like a scalpel and is it a called scalpel? Or, you know, those really sharp blades and you cut them into different shapes and then you pull out what you don't want. So that's basically what I did with my tool. Um, I, I cut with the edge around here and then I lifted up all of the yucky parts and then I took out all of the yuckies, leaving the good part all nice. And then I don't have to remove this part of the of the thing so i can do the same thing here make it all nice all the way through 
You see what I'm saying? And I'm still leaving the good decal on instead of taking off the whole thing. So I think that's actually what I'm gonna do. It's a little more work, yeah, but um, I think, and I'll have to figure out what I'm gonna do with this section if that's even worth salvaging or what. Um, maybe I can make some cool little shapes and designs or something with it, I don't know. But uh, that's where we're at. All right, yeah, so I'm super yucky right now, but you get to see Lacey. Hey, Lacey. Um, okay, so you might remember me saying that I wasn't going to worry about the exterior of the RV because I think it's kind of good. I know there's a big I think it's kind of good in that um, if my RV looks like crap from outside, then nobody's going to want to like break in and steal stuff <laughs> on the inside, right? So I was like, okay, that's good. But the bad part about it is they're already saying that a lot of places, they won't let you camp there if your RV is older than 10 years old. But if you send them a picture and you can prove to them that your RV doesn't look like crap and it looks nice, then they'll still let you in. They basically don't want like yucky looking RVs in there. And my RV right now looks, I don't know what their standards are, <laughs> but I think my RV is probably yucky. <laughs> so um so i need to like I, I just think i need to improve on it so that people don't look people don't think that i'm like you know yucky <laughs> you don't think i'm yucky huh you to say hi here do something do something for the camera say hi ah! not that anyways um I'm tired, my fingers hurt uh, from swimming away and all this stuff. And it's super windy today. Okay, this video is being ridiculous. Anyways, um, that's where we're at. So I am going to try to make my RV look a little bit better from the outside so don't, we don't look like hobos and get kicked out of places. <laughs> Thanks for joining me and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.